This is an informational video about the Semi-Quincentennial Grant Program for fiscal year 2021. This program is administered by the State, Tribal, Local, Plans, and Grants Division of the National Park Service. The United States Semi-Quincentennial will be the 250th anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of Independence in 1776. Numerous federal agencies, along with state and local governments and nonprofit and community partners, are working together to plan events, celebrations, and exhibitions to commemorate this anniversary in 2026. In 2020, Congress appropriated $10 million for a new competitive grant program to honor the semi-quincentennial anniversary by restoring and preserving state-owned sites and structures listed in the National Register of Historic Places that commemorate the founding of the nation. National Park Service is now accepting applications for this program. All applications must be submitted through grants.gov and application materials and program details can be found under funding opportunity number P22AS00035. The deadline for all applications in this round is May 3rd, 2022. To be eligible, resources must be owned by a state government and be listed in the National Register of Historic Places at the time of application. This means that a property could be individually listed, be considered contributing to a listed district, or designated as a National Historic Landmark. Buildings, sites, structures, objects, and districts, as defined by the National Register of Historic Places, are all eligible resource types. These could be places that are publicly interpreted and accessible as historic sites and museums, or used for other purposes, such as offices and government functions. These resources must all be related to the founding of the nation, however. Eligible projects on these resources must include physical preservation work. This is a bricks and mortar grant program and all applications must include a component of physical work to the resource. Up to 20% of that grant award, however, may be used for pre-preservation work, including materials analysis, historic structures reports, archeological survey, or drawings and specifications. Work on non-built resources like archeological sites and landscapes could include site stabilization, landscape restoration, drainage improvements, or other forms of work to protect and preserve those resources. And up to 25% of the grant award may be used for grant administration costs. So what does founding of the nation mean? Well, for purposes of this grant program, the founding period is defined as concluding on December 31st, 1800. The election of 1800 between John Adams and Thomas Jefferson marked the first peaceful transfer of power in a contested election and it's become a hallmark of American democracy. For this round, resources must predate 1800 and have a demonstrable connection or identified period of significance that includes the pre-1800 time period. There is, however, no start date to that founding period. We want to be inclusive of resources and stories that may be related to the pre-contact period, Native American cultures, and exploration and colonization activities beyond the eastern seaboard. Monuments, markers, and memorials constructed after 1800 are not eligible for this round of funding. Because all funded projects must include an element of physical preservation work, research, documentation, and planning projects that do not include a component of bricks and mortar preservation work are not eligible for this program. Likewise, archeology span that is not related to physical preservation work is uh, not considered eligible. Reconstruction and new construction are also ineligible activities, as are costs related to the acquisition of property or collections, the conservation of collections, and any work that is completed prior to the execution of a grant agreement. Eligible applicants include state governments, local governments, tribes, and nonprofit organizations. 
Resources must be owned by a state government, but partners who lease or maintain those properties on behalf of the state or raise funds to support the properties or the state agencies may apply on the state's behalf. However, all non-state applicants must provide a letter of support or authorization from the responsible state agency along with their application. Grant awards will range from $75,000 to $500,000 in federal share. A non-federal match is not required, but may be considered as a competitive factor. Awards will be announced in summer 2022 with an anticipated start date in fall 2022. All work must meet the Secretary of the Interior's standards for archaeology and historic preservation and comply with Section 106 and NEPA regulations. The grant also requires the execution of a preservation agreement for the resource, with, typically with the State Historic Preservation Office, and require competitive selection and NPS approval of consultants and contractors. Applications will be evaluated based on four criteria. The significance of the resource and its relationship to the founding of the nation is worth 30 points. The need, urgency, and threat to the resource is worth 20 points. The feasibility and planning of the project will be worth 20 points. And the sustainability and long-term impacts of the project are worth 20 points. All applications must include all of the items listed in the Notice of Funding Opportunity available on Grants.gov. Incomplete applications will not be considered for funding. Those application materials include the SF424 series that describes the budget information and assurances for construction and non-construction programs, as well as project-specific information, such as the project abstract, the project description worksheet, project images, letters of support, and letters of owner consent. Funding for this program is provided from the Federal Historic Preservation Fund. The Historic Preservation Fund was established in 1977 and provides the major source of federal support for state historic preservation offices, tribal historic preservation offices, and more than 2,000 local governments and hundreds of nonprofits through our competitive grant programs. The source of funding for the Historic Preservation Fund is revenues from the Outer Continental Shelf Oil Lease Revenue Program. You can find more information about the Historic Preservation Fund on the National Park Service website. Just a final reminder that applications must be submitted through grants.gov. The funding opportunity on Grants.gov is P22AS00035, and the deadline is May 3rd, 2022. If you have questions about your project or resource, you can email the National Park Service at stlpg at nps.gov or visit our website at go.nps.gov slash semiquin.